uh, before we set out in the morning, we were pretty much aware that some locals uh, have uh, contracted the disease. We were aware of uh, a place in Kigoma near the beach side of the Lake Tanganyika. And then uh, another episode here in uh, Mbunzi. So we went uh, to look, first of all, uh, to see the, the uh, verify the, the occurrences of these cases. But the most important challenge was to confirm or refute that transmission is occurring locally. So having been around today, we have looked at the two places, reviewed data with the help of the local uh, health facilities and staff. We have seen their papers and then we have also come this far in Vuzi to look at their documents and visit the patients and have information from them to help us take decisions. Um, having visited both places, uh, first of all, we were convinced ourselves that these two areas had transmission and uh, there were sporadic cases. There were three cases in, uh, in uh, uh, Kigoma and here in Vunzi there have been more than uh, eight or nine cases and uh, some had been severe enough for them to report to the local clinic for treatment. But currently in both instances we do not see uh, an environment of uh, well-established transmission. We foresee that possibly these two isolated cases would run or burn themselves out of, uh, of small clustered outbreaks that will kind of um, spend their, themselves out because they did not have the opportunity to affect other people or the environment such that the transmission could be propagated or continuously affecting other people. But we are on the kind of uh, caution because uh, somehow it starts like that and after a week you get a bigger bloom of uh, unwanted transmission and that could be very very uh, dangerous for the community, small communities and even the bigger community in Kigoma. We have talked very uh, in depth with uh, one of the cases uh, who incidentally was one of the last cases and not at the beginning of this clustering of uh, cases. But uh, looking at the environment and the water sources and communication with movements that occur from uh, Kigoma and among uh, the, the uh, asylum seekers population who also come this far, we have the feeling that uh, this kind of, uh, uh, kind of spots of outbreaks could occur very much related to the bigger outbreak that is occurring in town Kuigoma related to the uh, asylum seekers that are arriving and some having to pass through these areas down south over the lake. So possibly it is linked with influx of uh, asylum seekers and who are coming from an area which is uh, currently having declared an extensive outbreak. So we are trying to put in place uh, precaution, precautionary measures, including strengthening the clinic here, improving support and linkages with the clinic, and same as uh, in, uh, in uh, Kigoma. Most crucial is uh, getting the population to understand the challenges, carrying out social mobilization and health education to make sure that we don't miss if uh, outbreak starts again uh, or transmissions to start again, we don't miss the immediate uh, opportunity to control it provide support to the communities.